Welcome to the quick corner. I am again not in my usual spot. And the reason <laughs> this time is because I have been procrastinating for too long. And I decided that look, just get it done. Join me in the quick corner and hear about this double celebration. See you in a bit. Welcome to the Quick Corner. Thanks for joining me. I am truly grateful that you tune in regularly or now and again. And if this is your first time, welcome. I am grateful that you're sparing me a few minutes of your day to listen and participate in this video. At the risk of being a pun, one of the things we're celebrating today is World Gratitude Day. So I guess it makes sense that I started off from a place of gratitude. Yesterday was World Gratitude Day. And it was also the UN International Day of Peace. And I was like, wow, two major aspects of our lives celebrated on the same day. Peace, as we all know, is not the absence of trouble. For those of us who are Christians, we know that it is the presence of God, irrespective of what we're going through. Gratitude, on the other hand, is being grateful. So let's look at a quip that could help pull this together. And I'll tell you a few other things. I'll be reading from my first book. If only I could find it. You wonder why I didn't even put a book on. So it's 70, which says, gratitude is the best attitude that leads to a higher altitude and you don't need aptitude for it. Have you seen that picture of someone with a flat tire and there's a quote about bad attitude? Well, it says something like, I'll, I'll add a picture of it maybe right after this segment, but it says that attitude is like a tire. When you have a bad one, you can't go anywhere with it. Gratitude is important if you want to keep moving on in life. You need to be grateful for who you are, what you have, because you can't do anything by yourself. We need people around us. And if you're a grouchy person versus a grateful person, people will stay away from you. So when I say it's the attitude that takes you higher, i.e. to a higher altitude, you realize that you really don't need to be the most intelligent person to know how to be grateful. And when you learn how to be grateful, either introspectively, you know, thinking about what you have and where you are in life, or just looking around you to your family relationships, friendships, and health, you know, things like that, you'll find peace, even in being grateful. Gratitude is a great attitude to have, especially you want peace in your heart. Learn to be grateful. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Well, I'm glad that I stopped procrastinating and pulled this together. But I'd love to read your comments. 
What do you think about gratitude? What are you grateful for? Is there any way gratitude has brought peace to your life? Actually, something Paul said comes to mind when he was talking to the Philippians. Philippians 4, 6 to 7. He says, don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. And when you do that with an attitude of gratitude, of course, I'm sure you know this is my paraphrase. You will have the peace of God overshadow you. Look it up. You'll see what I mean. Okay, back to saying goodbye. Thanks again for joining me. If this is your first time, like I said at the beginning, please subscribe, share this with others. And if you liked it, please click like. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. Thank you for being part of my success story. I am grateful. And so we catch up again in the quick call. You take care. Bye now.